Hello everyone welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Clayton Etchard's alleged baby mama no longer pregnant. Bachelor alum Clayton Etchard's alleged baby mama is no longer pregnant. What does that mean for her paternity lawsuit against him? Keep reading for the latest update. Clayton Etchard's alleged baby mama no longer pregnant. The woman who claimed Clayton Etchard is the father of her unborn twins is reportedly no longer pregnant. Blogger Dave Neal, who has been at the forefront of reporting on the lawsuit, shared the news on his YouTube channel. Dave, who has also been sued by the woman, said the information came from unnamed but reliable sources. Just weeks ago, he revealed that a third DNA test came back with the same results as an earlier one, little to no fetal DNA. Clayton Eckard took to his Instagram back in October to share the initial DNA results. At the time, the woman claimed that he was given the wrong results, and she pushed for another DNA test. Dave didn't reveal if the woman miscarried, ended the pregnancy, or was never pregnant in the first place. In a thread on Reddit, many doubt the woman was ever pregnant, let alone with Clayton's babies. As someone who has had three very real miscarriages in the last 12 months, I am cackling at this update. Screw her for faking a horrific experience many women actually have. So, no longer wearing fake belly. I hope Clayton doesn't let this go. Stand up for the past and future victims of her faking pregnancy to harass and manipulate men. Well, isn't that convenient? Of course not because she never was to begin with. Does that mean the court case is over? Will the lawsuit be dismissed? According to Dave Neal, the woman went on the record during the court case that she was 24 weeks pregnant. If she's no longer pregnant, does she have a paternity suit against Clayton? As of publication, the lawsuit is ongoing. Clayton could possibly countersue for lawyer fees. The woman can't contact him, per court order. The woman could even possibly face criminal charges if it turns out she was never pregnant. Clayton's ex, Susie Evans, remains one of his strongest supporters throughout this legal ordeal. She never doubted his claim that he wasn't the father. What do you think of this latest update? Do you think the woman was faking her pregnancy the entire time? Let us know what you think in the comments. Stay tuned for more details as they come out.